Hello and welcome to Maglite, Outlook Magazine's digital newsletter. A weekly snapshot of the must-read stories in our next issue in Easy Bites. First up, have you ever wondered how Narendra Modi is trying to execute the Gujarat model? Well then, you're in good company. So are we. Assistant editor Pratna Gehlot spent several weeks making hundreds of phone calls doing just that. And a fascinating six-page story, which is our lead political story this week, reveals that Delhi is becoming a miniature Gandhinagar. Pratna found out that since Modi became Prime Minister last year, he has transplanted 44 bureaucrats from the Gujarat Kada to Delhi to help him carry out his promise. The strategy seems to be that the Ache Din agenda will work faster by having Babus who know his mind work around him. On a related topic, dig into the provocative essay by P. Sainath. Sainath is one of Indian journalism's asli legends. His book, Everybody Loves a Good Drought, is a must read if you haven't read it already. In a searing essay, he digs up enough evidence to show, tongue partly in cheek, that Modi is the lord of lottery. Sainath says that Indians should turn down all emails and phone requests for our bank details because Narendra Modi is doing his job. Okay, the 15 lakh rupees that Modi said that he would put in our bank accounts by bringing back black money has not materialized yet. But all the billions of deals that Modi signed across the world should do the needful and put the Nigerians online ambush to shame. Our cover story this week is great news for foodies. For years, we have lived in the dread of the C-word, cholesterol. Now, researchers are telling us just the opposite. Senior Special Correspondent Pragya Singh says the latest research shows that everything we thought we knew about cholesterol is wrong and that cholesterol may not be doing what we always suspected it to be. So, if you were planning to stuff yourself silly on Ganesh Chaturthi or Bakreed, go right ahead. But remember the wise words, do everything in moderation, even moderation. Over the years, our popular segment 10 questions has featured hundreds of the best and brightest. Taking the hot seat this week is Chetan Bhagat. He talks about his latest, the inspiration behind it and how he plans to make India awesome. Chetan's solutions look too simple if not simplistic. The best-selling author agrees. He says, yes, but the best advice in life tends to be simple. Touché. And finally, what is the shortest short story you have ever read? Our bibliophile column tells you about Hemingway's short story, which had all of six words. Margaret Atwood, too, had written a similar six-word short story. Tell us your tale in six words. You could win a prize. You can read these stories and a lot, lot more in the latest issue of Outlook. Pick up the hard copy at your nearest newsstand or go online to our website, outlookindia.com. Also follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.